Hello, a very warm welcome to you from SGT University. I am Madhav Sharma from Faculty of Mass Communication and Media Technology. Today we'll learn about Director's Screen Grammar. If there is a syntax of cinema, Steven Spielberg is most fluent, but he doesn't have to be the director. Anyone who believes in and learns to apply film grammar can direct a movie correctly. Setting challenges that create problems and limitations and then figuring out how to solve those problems is a director. This is not about being dogmatic, but having a desired visual message and conveying it with whatever clarity or ambiguity is appropriate in film direction. Every beat of a scene may have a shot or a move or a blocking cue that is most appropriate. Various professional directors say that shooting two actors across the table, the one with the more depth and detail in the background is the character with the power. Others say that when characters are shot over shoulder, they are usually in agreement or considering each other and when they are shot in single close-ups, they are isolated literally and in their own minds as well. While some other directors comment that a long lens allowing the person in close-up to be in sharp focus with the background and passing people in soft or blurred helps add to the feeling of being alone in a crowd. It all depends upon you. You can even plan to shift the camera axis with a dolly track movie behind one actor from over one shoulder to the other when there has been a shift in tone of conversation and the actors trade sides of the screen. While many other filmmakers believe that there are no rules. If you love making cinema, it is enough to absorb what a movie director potentially brings to a show. This may sound lazy, but this is one of the true realities. They might not know the right tool for the right job. They may shoot handheld just because they don't happen to have a tripod or it is not required or because a Fox documentary approach helps disguise a lack of aptitude for direction. There are many kinds of movies in all genres and the authentic voice can be a celebration of a craft and the gesture of creation. Some films are better written than others and some are better directed than others. We should not represent all tentpole movies since the kinetic moves and cuts appear a bit weird and there are many less financially successful action directors who discriminate the use of frame and the cut rank far above. So ultimately, it all depends upon you and your own rules to make a powerful cinema. If we talk about Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, definitely it wanted your money but it was also the vision of a man who had a scale model of Gotham City in his basement he used for planning shots. The message of a movie is not merely the content but the care and the dance of it matters the most. A Chinese period soap opera can be rewriting in fight scenes where the coordination of the camera is the part of its dance of action. There is a call for diversity and new voices in the upcoming film market. It is the result in a first nation filmmakers being too native with actors like Latino or Mexican fans of movies. It is important to recognize each and every work irrespective of their natives, color and caste. It would be a shame for someone to think that because of the importance or seriousness of a topic style would somehow be crass and it results in a stockpile of shaky documentaries about a suicide in isolated areas. 
to simply record information may be worthy use of equipment and suitable for online uploading for YouTube clips of evidence may not warrant a film. Some people claim that even the concept of merit is invented and promoted by various directors and straight males to keep them in the role of the director. That's another lie according to the people. Look at the early movies that Spike Lee and Ernest Dickerson made together. It can be also regarded as the merit on display. Look at Todd Hines' movie, a director who happens to be gay and was discovered by producer Christine Wachon when she saw Superstar, the Karen Carpenter story, a movie made with Barbie dolls. And there are numerous examples to discuss the screen craft of any director. We can understand the screen craft, but we have to make our own screen grammar as a young amateur director. If you talk about today's time, James Wan, the director of Saw, The Conjuring, Aquaman is one of the finest new directors of today. We can also discuss The Fast and Furious 6 directed by Justin Lean and then Fast and Furious 7 directed by James Wan and we should sense that Lean's decision may have been delegated and arbitrary in the fashion of Michael Bay while Furious 7 feels tight, focused and directed with discrimination and personality despite the production problem of the star Paul Walker's Death. Often the question is why something has to be a film and not a 10 minute rant on YouTube or a college thesis or a blog. Cinema doesn't have a gender or a race. It has its own language and most of the people who have evolved it at the key points have been regarded as creative humans. To conclude, we can say that in today's time, creating a movie can be done on cell phone but it depends upon your screen grammar and your screen craft and the ability to produce the best work. Best if the ease and the cheapness is also counterbalanced with the precision and genuine respect for how the right camera placement can transform a scene from coverage, wide establishing shots close-ups over shoulders of the whole scene inclusive to genuine movie directing. A director's screen grammar allows us to make better, faster and a smarter cinema. Film My Brother Nikhil kicking in the homosexuality concept in the country. Same gender love was the first time portrayed in this movie. In the year 2005, the movie showcased the subject of homosexuality as incipient from a universal rights-based standpoint. The film revolves around Goan lifestyle, which is a mixture of traditional India and modernized norms that the Portuguese left behind in the territory during the British rule in India. The movie also very sensitively yet strongly talks about less discussed taboo concept of sexual safety, HIV transmission and AIDS. The film might not have proved numbers in the box office but was a revolution for the nation owing to its theme. The film aided in bringing out the serious concerns out to the audience that the mainstream cinema could not. The future of cinema pertaining to the specific work may look at covering a wider range of social issues and also validating on evolving taste of the new era audience that wish to see much realistic issues being addressed in a more unbiased and fashionable manner. This audience acceptance would encourage the mushrooming movie makers to create magic on screen beyond the bounds of typecast and enlightening the cinegoers with more serious issues that need to be dealt with sensitivity and the sense of urgency to evolve the community at large for the betterment of the cinema and the society. 
So today we covered director screen grammar and the next time we meet, we'll be exploring seeing with the filmmaker's eye. Keep learning, keep growing, see you next time.